A new survey found that more than half of U.S. workers want to leave their jobs in 2023. But it's time to stop thinking in terms of quitting and start putting the experience in a more positive light. It's time to unboss yourself. In 2022, quiet quitting made a lot of lists for phrase of the year. You're going to do just the bare minimum to get by because you feel undervalued and underpaid. But this year, unboss yourself is making the rounds. It's this concept of beginning to believe that you can lead yourself. Instead of playing small, which is quiet quitting, I want you to step into what your full potential is and play a bigger game. There's a whole other world of entrepreneurship waiting for you. To learn more, we spoke to business expert and author of two weeks notice amy porterfield and her first tip to unboss yourself choose your exit date the day you're going to leave your nine to five job and start your business is more important than you might think it might be three six or even nine months from now but don't let it be a year then you're just letting fear take over once you choose a date write it down put it on a post-it note put it on a mirror where you see it every single day when you get ready when you see it Ask yourself. In six months, how much money could I save so I have a little nest egg when I go out on my own? Also, take time to refine your starter idea for your business. You're starting to make some decisions and think through what it's going to look like when you do go out on your own. Next, build your runway for success. Get really clear about how much money do I need to make on a monthly basis in order to cover my expenses. The more you know, the more courage you'll have to keep moving forward. She says a side hustle is a good way to develop your business idea and build confidence. Maybe you take a client and you do a little consulting or coaching, or maybe you want to create a very simple training program and put it out on social media. And if it doesn't work, then that's okay. You just start over with a new idea. And to hold you accountable to your goal, tell friends and family. But also be careful which friends and family that you invite into this big dream that you're creating. Pick people who you know will be supportive and encouraging. You're going to tell your friends and family that your goal is to leave your nine to five job and start your own business on X date. What you're not going to tell them is all the details around it because you won't know all the details. She says you don't need an elaborate business plan. You need a starter idea. You need to start thinking about what you want to sell and who you want to sell it to. And that's essentially it in the beginning. So the less you share, the better. Finally, give notice the right way. Look at your current job and what they require for when you do give your two weeks notice. Maybe you want to give a month notice. Just don't burn bridges on the way out. Leave in a way that you're going to feel great when you step out that door and think, okay, I did everything I could to set them up for success and now I'm ready for my own success. Meet the new boss. Totally different from the old boss.